I've just joined a panel looking at uh, financing and we were looking at issues around um, climate change uh, intersectionality and just to unpack that phrase a little bit more for the intersections between issues related to climate change and health, for example, um, pollution uh, access to um, uh, 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 or the impact of that on uh, supply chains and how digitization uh, of supply chains can, can help uh, reduce some of the impact of economic activity. So I think one of the uh, attractive aspects of this conference is it does bring together a very international audience. We were talking about global level issues, but also uh, looking at local application uh, of, those, um, uh, of those issues. We were also talking a lot about financing gaps, particularly around infrastructure uh, and the uh, investments needed to finance the energy transition. So a couple of takeaways from me from this uh, sustainability summit. Sustainability is a very big umbrella term. I think if we bring the attention on to, to Asia, there are a number of factors that we need to, to keep in mind. First and foremost is, is, is how we can um, realize sustainable and sustained uh, economic growth. Uh, throughout history, economic growth has come at huge uh, e yeah, in environmental uh, cost. And so how do we break that link between um, uh, carbon or carbon emissions and, uh, and economic growth? And, and of course, if you follow that trail back, then you're really uh, talking about the energy transition and the need to be financing um, uh, uh, renewable energy and, and, and new ways of, of powering uh, our societies. So that would be one issue. I think the other um, uh, major in, uh, issue of importance for, for, for Asia, particularly for businesses in Asia, is to understand the impact of climate change on, on, on societies, which is, which is happening now. And we know that Asia, uh, many parts of Asia, particularly coastal Asia, are particularly exposed uh, to, um, uh, the, to the implications of climate change and not least in terms of rising sea levels. So, so that's some contextual information around sustainability that businesses really need to be aware of. Uh, and then of course, thirdly, I think one of the most uh, important aspects uh, of sustainability for businesses uh, to be aware of is, is the tremendous opportunities uh, that there are in dealing with climate change, in, in, in adapting to more sustainable ways of doing business. I mentioned earlier on uh, supply chains and the digitization of supply chains. So if you are a, a, a tech player, for example, and you have solutions for firms uh, that you, uh, you can apply, there's a tremendous and growing market uh, for you. If on the other hand, you're something to do with, with healthcare, and we know that um, uh, climate change and, uh, and economic growth mean that there is great burdens or, or demands on um, uh, healthcare budgets within countries. If you have some innovative way in which you can help deal with some of the problems uh, uh, around healthcare that will save governments money, then you'll hear, uh, you'll find a lot of opportunities within the region as well. So just a few thoughts on some of the um, uh, emerging issues around sustainability and also uh, uh, some of the um, opportunities that that presents.